morning that you should shift your focus from your business, from your profession to God. Because if there is a lack, only God can fix it. At least he has demonstrated that very terribly. Through the scripture we read, how he sent ravens to go take care of his servant. Eat bread and flesh in the morning, bread and flesh in the evening, and there was water. Is that not awesome? There will be a miracle for you this evening. Ravens will locate you today. Human ravens will look for you. Amen. That your uncle that has not called you before will call you. Amen. I said that your auntie that has not called you before will call you. Amen. That your friend that has not called you before will call you. Amen. That neighbor of yours that you think nothing good can come out of him, something good will come out of him. Amen. That colleague of yours that nothing ever drops from his hand before, nothing ever drops from his hand before, something big will drop. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When God is at work, just know that God is at work. A couple of years ago, as a ministry, we've been believing God for financial turnaround. And money was not coming the way we wanted. So we call on God, who happens to be our source. God, any man, any woman that you have ordained to release fun into our hand, Father, trouble the person. And let that person not sleep until you have made the person to do your bidding. And not too long, a partner of ours who used to give to YDI 100, 50,000, 20,000. She has never exceeded 100 in all her givings. <laughs> you know, there are some people who are strategic givers, highly calculative. Everything budgeted. I'll give this. Whatever you preach, if you like preach from here to Jesus Christ, it will never move it. That is what I will give. Say your own and let me go. She was that kind of person. Or God who answers prayers. The God who happens to be the source of the ministry of YDI went on the assignment. In her dream, she had a revelation where she wrote a check of one million naira for YDI. She woke up and told the husband, did you see this kind of dream I have? I saw myself writing a check of one million and I handed it over to pastor in my office. The husband said, ah, that must be God speaking to you. That means YDI needs one million from you. Thank God for good husbands. I said, thank God for good husbands. <laughs> A, a husband that doesn't have understanding, say, that's just a dream now. I bet, I bet. Don't stop yourself. That's a dream. Or do you have uh, the one million naira? <laughs> Even if you have, you can divide it into two, five hundred thousand is big money. Or it's even, uh, it's even hundred, hundred thousand. It's hundred thousand. That was how the woman called me, and I went to her office. And she wrote the way she did it in the dream. That was what she presented it. She said, I should have sent my driver, or I should have come by myself. But the way I saw it in the dream, I said, I must put it to practice. She handed it over. I knew within myself that this was God. It couldn't have been that woman. A woman giving you one million naira. Who has never given you 500,000 before? Who has never given you 200,000 before? There are some people who will give you 1 million this month. Amen. They have never given you 100,000 before. Amen. But the God that you serve will move them. Amen. It was God that moved this woman. It was God that moved this woman. God revealed himself. Who's in charge? You know, let me tell you, two, four, there are three forces that affect your dream world. What you see around you, 
your activity in a day can affect your dream world. God can also affect your dream world, and the devil also can affect your, your dream world. How many forces? Three. One is what? Yes. Your activity. For instance, if you watch any kind of movie, horror films, romantic films, whatever you watch, you know, they have a tendency to be stored in your subconscious in the dream you are likely to see them happening. Do you understand? Your thought patterns and things like that. Or the devil can also come through to inject some certain things that you never thought about. So they come in your dream world for you to accept it or not to accept it. It could put fear into you and say, hey, I saw this thing. My dream usually come to pass. So ah, this must be it to put fear into you. Or it could be God trying to speak to you through dreams. Do you understand it? Yes. I want to tell you that that dream the woman had was not from the devil. <laughs> Because the devil can never support the work of God. Yes, yes sir. Is it possible no, that the devil, the devil himself, will now say, let me support the work of God? Is it possible? No. I also believe that it's not man. Because the typical man will not want to support the work of God. Only God promotes his own work. So it must have been God. That was why the woman could not resist it. Any work of God that you want to do for him, provision will be made available. Yeah. The reason why some of us are not having money the way we should have money is because we are not thinking of what to do for God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33. Seek ye first. Seek ye first. Seek ye first. Elijah was seeking God and his affairs. He was a representative of God. 24 hours of the day, 24-7, Elijah was all about God, all about God, all about God. You can't be God-minded and God will not mind you. If you mind the affairs of God, God will also mind your affairs. The Bible says, whatsoever a man sows, that is what he will reap. That is what he will reap. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord God Almighty will cause you to reap abundantly. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Do you have a walk with God? Do you see yourself as an Elijah in your generation? That you too, you are an Elijah. And so you are entitled to God's provision. You are entitled to God's provision. I am entitled to God's provision. Can you say that? I am entitled to God's Because I'm God's servant. Because I'm God's servant. Praise the name of the Lord. Now let's move a little bit further. You know, God's ways are past finding out. God's ways are past finding out. Nobody is permitted to straightjacket God. That God must always walk this way. He must always walk this way. No. God is too big to be boxed in a box. 